It's one thing for literally criminals to break through cordon, go into the Capitol, kill a police officer, and be held unaccountable. Oh, dear, oh, dear. How many lies in just one 11-second statement on the international stage? Well, let's have a friend break it down. Jim Hansen is a former special, uh, former Army Special Forces dude, and his latest book is Winning the Second Civil War. And uh, Uncle Jimbo, you've been talking about this January 6th thing and breaking down what we know and what we don't know and what's been lied about. And there was a whole lot in that statement, wasn't there? Yeah, it was uh, kind of a perfect example of how they're inventing this insurrection to go ahead and serve their political purposes and then using all of the state power that they can get their hands on to go ahead and crush their political enemies. It's a it's a horrible example of totalitarian thought policing and uh, we need to shut it down. Yeah, there are a lot of people who will who will rationalize what happened tragically to Officer Brian Sicknick in terms of dying from a stroke, and they will say, well, that stroke was probably brought on from the stress and ordeal of what he had to face on January 6th. Is, is there some validity to that argument? That's not how we do things in our legal system, for sure. If you want to argue that with your friends, feel free. But when we're charging people with crimes and when we're dealing with the reality of the fact that this was a political rally that got completely out of hand, and the people who committed violent acts should be punished for those violent acts. But we can't allow the you know, political administration in power now to go ahead and create an insurrection and to create criminal conspiracies where there were none. The indictments they've dropped so far don't just not prove there's a criminal conspiracy. They actually exonerate the people who are now in solitary confinement for having not made a criminal conspiracy. So uh, this is this is horrifying to watch, and they're, they're doing worse things uh, going forward, too. During this summit between President Joe Biden and President Vladimir Putin, Putin suggested that the reason he cracks down on his op- opponents is because he doesn't want a January 6th event to happen in his country. Do you think that American political leaders, by constantly calling this an insurrection are playing into this dangerous narrative that gives more ammo to our uh, foreign adversaries. Well, first, let's let's be just fair here. Putin's been killing people for decades, you know, so what he says is always a lie. However, when we're talking about how America is perceived and how our ability to leverage that to for our strategic interest is in play, the fact that our politicians can now be actively seen as lying to the American public, as acting like a totalitarian dictatorship, and you know, creating crimes against their political opponents, that doesn't help. Our credibility goes right down the tubes, and that's exactly what Biden and his team are doing. Jim Hansen is with us. And uh, Jim, I, I, listen, I want to draw attention to your book. You've got two books, one that you wrote last year and one this year, and both of them are relevant in today's political conversation. So you pick. Which one do you want me to highlight more? I think right now winning the second civil war without firing a shot is right. a vital thing for us to talk about. Let's do because that. Because we do, could lose. I do want to point out, though, last year's book, The Myth of White Fragility, a field guide to identifying and overcoming the race grifters, is playing out before our very eyes. You were very prescient last year in writing it. So talk to me about this. That, you know, People do say, you know, listen, we have uh, uh, irreconcilable differences in this country, and the only way to reconcile it, as we sadly did in the past, is to have some level of civil war, which terrifies the hell out of me. We don't want violence in our streets, God knows. So that's why I'm so compelled by the title, without firing a shot. Talk to me about what you're envisioning here. Yeah, the, the violence is real. We saw the riots all of last year. That was an actual insurrection where they you know, seized government buildings and things like that. But we haven't lost all of our constitutional power yet. You know, we still have some sort of 5-4 majority in the Supreme Court. Um, The the places where the Republicans control the legislature and the states are doing election reform. And the difference is we were never as Republicans and as really the political right focused on the, the places where the left took power. Academia, you know, our education system, the permanent bureaucracy of government. We weren't watching those closely enough. And now that we can see what they're doing and how successful the woke agenda has been, 
just getting our team in the game and fighting this fight on their terms, figuratively, is going to be enough to beat them. We're not going to lose to a bunch of arugula-eating, latte-sipping pajama boys and girls. We can beat them at their own game if we focus on it, but everybody's got to get in the game. And, and we, But we do have the ideas. It's just a question of pushing back and using our ideas in a passionate and direct way and not shying away from those debates, right? Exactly. Yeah. You can't no, any longer. There's no safe space on the sideline. Jim Everybody Hans- from our team needs to get up and go to the school board meetings, city council meetings, and stand up when they call us racists and other ridiculous things. Amen. You know, Amber Athey, Jim Hansen is the Charles Barkley of Kurt Schlichter's. So I and I've seen him after hours. So he's been. You're very well behaved this morning, Jim. <laughs> I, I are you, is it is this is the secret is getting you early in the morning. Yeah, that's it. I'm only halfway through my first cup of coffee. I'm See? not as an early oh, arriver perfect. you guys. There you go. That said, we are due for an after-hours event at some point, Jim, so we'll see you soon. Sounds great. Thanks, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Again, the book is Winning the Second Civil War Without Firing a Single Shot, 643 on WM.